We need a version of the theme song that's played on. Set your butane torches to high and your expectations to low. Coming to you live from just the tip cigars in the hills of the Steel City. Get ready to get your fix. This is the Cigar Junkies Podcast. Welcome to the Cigar Junkies Podcast. A cigar show for the community by the community. A forum that talks stogies, booze, food, and anything else in the cigar lifestyle. If you're looking for ratings, negativity, reviews, or an authority on all things cigars, you came to the wrong place. Whether you like what you hear or not, please join the conversation and let us know by finding us at the Cigar Junkies Facebook group or emailing us at the Cigar Junkies at gmail.com. What's, What's up, junkies? junkies? Ho, ho, motherfucking ho. If you guys don't know what day it is, it's because you are not watching this show because the big guy himself has graced our presence. Cigar I don't know Santa. which to say. Cigar That's Santa right. Claus. Cigar, Cigar Santa. Santa. I have an idea where we all rank on that list, um, but let's just pretend we've all been good. You know what I mean? We've, we've, we've got all the Christmas miracles happening. Jason not only came, which was my only wish, he was on time. He beat me here. I'm mm. going to admit it on the show. We got a special visitor from the North Pole and the best donuts ever made and the best leather polisher this side of wherever they polish leather at. Uh, shout out to Eric for blowing up my horns. <laughs> <laughs> good to know that you're happy, Eric Blue. You. Listen, if anybody ever says that I'm not a good sport, episode 98, okay? I mean, this is a little bit more PC <laughs> than what you guys wanted. Who we got? I'm not leaving until I see Santa whip a reindeer. Jesus Christ. All right. Anybody else want to wear this hat? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Too late. It's Santa's yours now. A, Santa's, Santa's it's hunting boy. season, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wabbit season. It's a wabbit season. No credit, only grief, as I expected. Uh, <laughs> let's not stop talking anytime Eric starts talking from now on. You don't want to hear about people hanging sausages off your head again the only place that takes me to is teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 secret of the U's because they weren't allowed to use their weapons so they all had to fight with whatever they found around and michelangelo used the sausage links as nunchucks and that was the best scene ever. they weren't allowed to use their weapons was that a was that a production it or? was it was because so many like moms that that was like the first time the karen's influenced the movie yeah I'm sure they did it once before that. The Karens were so loud that they did. They chose not to actually. If you at, watch, they never actually hit anybody with their weapons. It's only with something else. I don't even think they ever unsheath their weapons. Unlike Would you Eric's last ass? birthday party, ring him. Uh, oh, I already poured this. We can have some more. You suck. Whatever. Oh. Pretty bad, dude. That's, he gave it back. That's way more than I needed. Oh, that was aggressive. I, I, there's a lot happening here. Just don't mm -hmm. damage my cigars. All I ask, really. You can thank my son. This oh. was his his oh, present that from, was so close. from the so White close. Elephant Exchange. Damn it! Hold on, clear, Ty. If he's if he's actually watching and hasn't fallen back asleep already, I'm sure he'll be. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. He's so, don't know. interestingly enough, yes. Speaking of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was, yeah, do. I was reading uh, an article about each turtle, their personality, their weapons, and why each of them has yes. the weapons they have. Yes. Which is really, really fucking cool. Yeah. There's a reason that Leonardo was the only one trusted with an actual blade. Right. Because he was the only one that, that Splinter trusted to use it in the right situation well, and right. to have the restraint not to use because it. he was the leader and he should he should know when to show restraint and he had the deadly weapon blah 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 donatello was the tech guy so he got the fucking stick yes right the least advanced weapon of all right michelangelo got the weapon that he could only hurt himself with and it, but <laughs> that required the because he's fucking scatterbrained and all over the most place. Focused, the one that required the most focus, and because Raphael was the most aggressive, he got the scythes, which are a defensive weapon. Yeah, but I feel like you could stab a bitch with them. 
that yeah you can but they're they are primarily used as a defensive weapon yeah, yeah. actual size are like the ones that i've seen they're not particularly sharp think, right they're not they, sharp they're at all dull. you right. think santa can get the range i, I imagine I don't if anybody could do it is him let's see what and i do i do encourage you you can't even i thought it, it was to gonna santa. hook you can't even thought get it was a button hook. I thought it was going to button hook me. I didn't know you were going to button hook wow, me. Wow, bro. What a left, huh? There you go. Closer. That fat shit get our puto. You <laughs> chucked the cinder block at me. You chipped my fucking horn. <laughs> you couldn't hit the North oh, Pole shit. with a plastic donut. Ass, <laughs> fucking wheeze that thing. The fucking old man, I heard him walking away. He said, what superimpose? <laughs> Seriously, Santa, go back to the start of this live episode, and you will hear me ask, for a cursio that's all i wanted for christmas after all the things I already got damn i was close oh the first one was too all right i'm that's the last time i'm climbing under a table today the rest is on you guys that's you what, what she mean? said hey uh you know what this is more of like a thanksgiving thing but i was thinking about it on the way over here because the news is a little light uh the events are a little bit light so it's like man like who do i want to shout out during christmas time as a thank you looking back at the cigar junkies podcast number one has to be unfortunately sorry buddy i'm bumping you to number two dave puskovich okay for jumping on episode after episode two and being like hey i want to support you guys and give you the cigars for the show that was very cool um obviously you're like right there, but he actually gave out of his pocket immediately, so I had to hit him up. Plus, you're a part of the show. Your time is worth nothing. Yeah. Now, now my wife is. I mean, me, I feel like that's so 2022, bud. So my wife has told me many <laughs> times how lucky I am that you were the one that responded that he had to do the show with, and I 100 percent agree that she's right. So thank you to Sam and just the tip cigars. Funny enough, uh, my wife tells, says the exact exact. Oh, 100 so like, <laughs> absolutely. Like, why did you respond? To Listen, that? I still if you notice. I still don't ever walk behind the counter anymore. <laughs> uh, she's a memorable, you know, she has she, an impact. She's terrifying. Mm -hmm. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm still more scared of mine than I am of yours, but I think you are too, so it's okay. <laughs> it works out that way. Uh, Kirill Favich uh, from uh, Jernigan's and uh, Puffs and Stuffs, thank you. The Bonacontros over at Smoke. Um, Steve Saka, Mickey Peg, anybody that's kind of um jumped out and said hey that this is a terrible name for a podcast but i'm still gonna come come in and uh hang with you i'm trey just mac surprised and that Houston. your first one wasn't ryan for bringing donuts like i thought he would have won because <laughs> with your attention span i did pay I figured the immediate donut delivery was going to be more important pay. well i was thinking about this before i knew if the donuts were going to come or not but that, that's what i'm saying like i'm impressed your attention span actually went beyond the right, right. Ooh, yummy delicious and like i get i look like an idiot right now no, but i did you, this for you, you guys never, no. you know what i mean like I, I it's a little more pc than what you wanted and there's always new years but you know Speaking, I get no, no credit even when i self-sacrifice i get no respect <laughs> no respect at all huh? <laughs> no we were talking I can't about get no regard either <laughs> we were talking about the uh 100th episode and somebody floated the idea of smoking the 10 by 100 also and then i held it also we found out that my math is bad go well, get that fucker. we knew my math it's not was happening bad. go get it go get it we knew my math was bad jason but i think we were all kind of thinking oh new year's episode 100 this, here we go. this bad boy here we go we call this eric's friday night look at that i'm we not gonna say who but as soon as i pulled it out of the box the first time somebody in here goes <laughs> i dated him uh, yeah i think how eric, do they know me i think oh, wow. eric when you unsheath that bad boy he said does that come with a basket of fries hey <laughs> i don't understand the reference but i'm gonna make it oh come on buddy that gag reflex ain't nothing you're good what's up mikey kazora big doing, mike let me ask you a question mike kazora do you have a so short right now? <laughs> if you've ever seen any of mike's social media posts that that man does not wear a shirt not if he can avoid it <clears throat> no yeah you know i was what? good I was for him to work. hey why not what's uh <laughs> how many how many uh washington's does that fucker cost was it like 42 yeah yeah 40, 42 42 like yeah Pretty which actually is a value at that i mean yeah i mean 
even if you don't smoke it, you could do curls with it. Yeah. If you just want to beef up one side for arm wrestling competitions, that's your guy. Right it is there. a multifaceted smoking device. Yeah. Absolutely. That is, that, that's got to take 10 freaking hours. Like the speed that I smoke, that'd be terrible. <laughs> yeah. Corey would be jaundiced. I say we have a New Year's. <laughs> are, Jason, are you going to be here for New Year's Eve? It Do you know yet? It depends. You on don't know what your schedule is. I know I have to work, but I intentionally got our shift moved up, so I get off at seven now instead of eleven. So I'll be able to come a little bit earlier. Speaking, I of, say, remember, New Year's Eve is my son's birthday. Why would I remember that? Nobody's ever told it to me. Before. New Year's Eve is my son's birthday. Hey, okay. did you know that on his, uh, New Year's Eve is his son's birthday? I did not know. Just that. throwing it out. That there. is memorable because wow. you said it. I will remember it from now on. Glad Absolutely. we had this time together. Mm. <laughs> Anywho, it would be a wonderful that. thing to see if, yeah. like, you give him four hours, say, start at eight o'clock, and see if Jason can smoke the thing down to when the balls drop. And I'm not Believe talking me, about I Eric can. and BGD. That would be a fantastic event to Believe find me, out. Because there's a said, LOL, line. I'm sitting here shirtless right now. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it, right? I mean, I knew. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hey, good for you, buddy. You know what I mean? Hey, also, before we get into the show too far, I think we're doing okay so far. Uh, if you're not aware, that's uh, Mike chiming in in the chat room. My wife uh, has reiterated what I have felt during the last few episodes. I think I've even stated it. We are, more recently, way more for the visual watcher than we are for the audio people. So if we're speaking about something that's not happening, yeah. that they know that's happening, we need to be a little bit more of like a line it up, let them know, try try to give the because she she doesn't watch, she listens. You know, it's on in the background, and she's like, I've got no idea what the hell you guys are talking about half the time. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair <laughs> that's usually the case, anyhow. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking Santa Claus! Santa Claus over away. there. He's on that North Where? Pole time. <laughs> he does. He does. Oh. You gotta bring you gotta presents and break. shit. Yeah. He's got a lot of moms to kiss tonight, you know. Right. Well, I mean, you should already be started because what was it? Seven a.m. this morning. I think it's when Christmas started. First place. I can't remember where it's at. By the way, for. Uh, for our beloved Santa Claus and all the other Jeep listeners out there, I found something that may have turned me the other day because I'm not a Jeep guy. Listen up. They're they're a little compact for my liking, a little really bad aerodynamically. Yeah. And uh, but I was scrolling through the old Facebooks the other day and I saw a Jeep Wrangler that somebody turned into a Michelangelo Ninja Turtle. It had the uh, the orange bandana in the front over the headlights. And then had a shell on top and everything. Huh. It was dope as hell. I was like, okay, I see it. I'm a Jeep guy. Let's go. If I had that <laughs> one, I, I would definitely, I I'd definitely get in on that Jeep thing. And let's, uh, if for those of you that don't know at home, so let, let's. We, I'm actually wrong. We've we've done this very poorly. Uh, so we've stayed on brand. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So there has been a recommendation or a request for me to stick a device to the top of my bald ass head that folks could then throw rings on as a ring toss game. And I decided to embrace it the most PC way that I could. I brought in an inflatable. If it's if you're not watching this episode, if you're listening to this, this is the one you should probably watch. Like on YouTube, Facebook, you can get it all over the place. Hey, uh, you know what? Like, you could subscribe. Do there we go. And share. So he was, I was getting he here. Was, dude, he was moving in on it. I was like, oh, yeah, look at him I go. That, he ruined you my traction. Bump. Yeah, I was going to give it Jason, to him. You know, that, was, that was your The one time point. he does it all natural, and you're just like, hold on, hold on. Let me cut this shit down a little bit. Expectations are going to be set a little high. I got to be real. Them. I'm seeing myself in the picture. It's not a bad look. But before I get distracted and say the thing that I'm going to say for Jason, um, I have an inflatable reindeer hmm. horns on my head. Reindeer. And even as we speak, wow, you got that on Jason's horn. Santa just threw, we have an inflatable rings for the enjoyment of everybody but Corey to try to ring toss onto my antlers. And uh, 
So that if if there's anything you have not understood about the show so far, that might be it. Or the fact that Sam is advertising the fact that he is indeed a ho 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 with his special light up Santa Christmas hat, which is fantastic. Y'all suck. I gotta say, nobody. Bro, can, that, nobody. I'm, can I'm land going back over. I'm going across the shop. I that was my closest one. You gotta give it to give one to Eric. If there's anybody that was gonna wing, ring a uh, donut ring on the old horn, it's gonna be Eric for sure. <laughs> he's, he's got practice, you know what I mean? With that being said, when you jump over to YouTube so that you can see this wonderful visual display for your Christmas season, please make sure that you like, subscribe, share, comment, all those wonderful things, not only on YouTube, but on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere that you get this show. Um, please reach out, share it with a friend, ruin their year. Uh, for the upcoming 24 by uh, uh, introducing the junkies to them because it helps us. You know, you might not think it does, but numbers are a good thing to have when you're a podcast. And when you're a podcast geared at cigar smokers, there's not a lot of numbers to be had. So the more that we can get, the better off we'll be in trying to improve this terrible show for you in the future. Right? I mean, I feel like you nailed it. All right. Good on I, you. I keep seeing Jason. Uh, Yay. Sam's I like the like, start going like duh, duh, Sam's duh, like duh. holding his coffee within an inch of his mouth for like the I, last thirty seconds, just inching it, it up. And like down. I wanted coffee. Is that what's it was going like on. it's empty. I yeah. kept I kept waiting for you to go. Oh, I'm gonna have to chime in on this. But I got know? up like five times. And I'm like, uh, no, yeah, no, I gotta wait a little while. Too so, much caffeination. Uh, how was your week? Good, fantastic, wonderful, great. Started off. Uh, took Monday and Tuesday off, so that's how I started my week. You spoiled bitch. I know, right? Um, two days off. Two days, no kids. What were you no, thinking? What was I thinking? I like that song. Um, no, wife's birthday. And still so. didn't smoke the cigar. What's that? Still didn't smoke no, the no. two days off. Nope. What's that? What Coffee. Is? Oh, don't. Get him. Don't. It's Santa. He, you, he Santa. gives you what you want. <clears throat> he sees me when I'm sleeping, though. That's the part that scares me. Yeah, he does. I thought that was the part you wanted. No. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to be awake. Wake him up next time. <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, but yeah, no, so good start to the week. Uh, late, a couple late nights this week, though, uh, when we were here. It's been, I mean, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's good. They were just right? packed in here. Yeah, all day. All, I mean, starting 10 o'clock in the morning on, just slammed in here all week. So it's been awesome. Good job, Eric. I assumed he had something to do with you being slammed in here all week. Ah, I just, well, I just, let, let, just figured I'd let you get there. For those people listening at home, I'm going back to the tequila glass. This was a My new bottle. My tequila shanku show appreciates it. Did you say shank you? Shanku. <laughs> That's a shank you very much. Uh, and how was your week? Pretty good, mostly, but actually, it like. From a standpoint of just uh, as a week could be, it was not a great week. Lots of lots of shit breaking at work and all that happy stuff. Um, but you know what kept me going was knowing that once Thursday was over, I'd get eight days out of there just to <sighs> embrace eight tequila, cigars, the junkies lifestyle. You know what I mean? The junkies lifestyle. Track marks. Well... <laughs> dude so for cigar burns on your chest track marks for if you listen to the show you know that i've had a wildly that, like like fuck <laughs> oh, yeah. up until this point in my life i've had a wildly unsuccessful like musical career like i never did anything before this year currently um but there was like one of the many bands that, that I like joined and maybe we practiced or maybe we didn't trying to work our way up in the, in the world and stuff. And one of them, the guy was like, I'm going to call it track marks. Like I just, just the most fucked up thing I could think of. And I'm like, I could think of some more fucked up shit. Like if you need suggestions, but he was pretty committed, pretty stuck on track marks. Yeah. I am. That's stuck gross. On what? no different. I always always change the Trojan commercial in my head, which I, honestly I think would have done way better. I am stuck on Trojan brand because AIDS don't stick on me. Yeah. Marketing genius. I that know. one landed a little short. Mm. I usually do. Jason, how was your week? 
Standard. Wow. Wow. Thanks for that deep, <laughs> deep insight into your life. I, I 100% did that on purpose. But wait, there's <laughs> more. If you're, if you're ever looking for a layup or an alley-oop, don't throw the ball to Jason. <laughs> Jason will let you down every time. It's I'm, like you throw him the ball from the other end of the court, and he just throws it straight out of He's the bounds. guy that the kid hands Doesn't the balloon he? to, and he's just like, Psst. I was that skater kid that was in the gym class. They were like, Jason, think fast. He was like, huh. I wonder what character I want to be at Dungeons and Dragons this week. Dude, by the way, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but my Facebook algorithm has been marketed for wanting to buy you more presents this year. Because I keep getting like Dungeons and Dragons shit. Yes. Like there's some fold up thing that has like all these little sliders and dials for your attributes or effects and shit that mm -hmm. happen. And I'm like, Jason must have hacked me because this shit is not for me at all. I 100% did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last week when I was pissing around on the computer, I was just looking up a bunch of D&D &D shit while mm -hmm. I was on your Facebook profile. No, I'm like looking at this shit and I was like, Hit him with the that motherfucker bomb. a present, and he hasn't even figured out how to use it yet. So, by the way, yet? No? You still have one more day, technically, if you figure it out by tomorrow. I'm going to... I cannot get it on my phone. I'm going to have to do it on my work phone. The one, the one benefit is there's a little bit more mass on Jason's keychain now. Hopefully, that'll help it make it more discoverable. Oh, that thing. Yeah. I, was I mean, the giant yeah. red safety lock, you know. It's actually kind of ironic because I've got Christmas presents for both of you, and what? neither one of you have used it yet. Can you take that through TSA? I I probably I wouldn't take my safety lock. I TSA, no I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm just curious. Like I don't know why that popped into my head, but I'm like, I don't know. It's a lock. Yeah. Like, are they going to say no? Carl, that's a weapon. Well, can't so are like, these motherfuckers. But like, that's more dangerous than that is on a plane. Like, it, here's it, the thing. I'm just like, oh, I've got questions now. I think think about this from like a primal response. If somebody had a lock in their hand, yes, in the back of your head, you're like, man, that could fuck me up really bad. Right. But there is there is like this guttural primal response you get when you see a blade. Oh, I thought you were gonna say when you stab a bitch. Does Sorry. It make you wet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you got me stuck on the shanking thing. It will make you wet. Yeah, it's true. He'll be fucking leaking. <laughs> that's, oh. a, that's not great. <laughs> that's the problem. So, so the boss, when we were at our white elephant Christmas party, I have my Al Aladino travel humidor. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I mean, I paid for it, but thank you anyway. You know, um, only holds five. I, I paid for ten, but cool. Um, so I brought that with my personal cigars to share with people because the big boss was like, hey, bring cigars back. I'll smoke one with you. Didn't. Um, but I had it sitting out. And so the boss lower than him, we call them mom and dad. Um, so they, they I get it. switch positions. Yes. It's not always one of them's mom and one of them's dad. It depends on the circumstances. So, they can, so you have two dads. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes two moms. Sometimes three, really. Um, but so he opens it up and he's like browsing through my shit. And I'm like, oh, you know, I brought those for us to smoke. And so he takes one without me knowing and puts it in a shirt pocket. And later on, I see it. And I'm like, motherfucker, those are for like us to do together. He's like, oh, no, it's fine. I'm going to smoke it here. And, and then, then leaves. motherfucker leaves. <laughs> Good for him. So then from our other coworker. I come into one day, and it's kind of scary because motherfuckers getting capped for sexual harassment and shit at work, you know. Oh yeah, we had a, we had a guy get yeah get popped. Well, let's not go in too deep. That's what she said. No, um, no, it's not. Not to me. I was talking about to somebody else. So, uh, any who's he takes one right and 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 fucks off. Mm -hmm. I get a red envelope. I walk in, and a coworker hands me this envelope, and it says confidential, like this red envelope. And I'm like, this is kind of terrifying. But there's a shape, a cylindrical shape in there. And I look Craig dead in the eyes, and he says, this is from Kurt. And I said, if this is a tampon, I'm always already stocked up for a month. And it took me a little while to figure, like, bef right before I opened it, I figured out, oh, he returned. 
the cigar. To which I was like, man, I told you, just smoke it. You know, if you got to steal a cigar from me, you know what I mean? Like, and you can't smoke it in my presence or whatever. Just smoke the fucking thing, you know? But no, he returned it in a little red, you know, confidential like, envelope. It was weird. Like wanting you to think that it was something fucked up. It, and it did, man. Like, he handed me this envelope, and I read it, and it was confidential. And I'm like, well, there's no guards here to escort me out of the building. <laughs> but it was still kind of scary, you know, um, to at least some degree. So, yeah, I don't know. How you liking it on the other side of uh, work? He's 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 our resident whore. He goes back and forth um, between departments. It's fine. Right. It's fine. It's... uh. I like it a little better because over there the they they work that alternate schedule. Mm -hmm. So I'm although they work midnight shift over there, which is kind of shitty. We would too if we had enough business to work it. Yeah. Like that was why they hired you. Hey, whatever. Oh, that was the end. Okay. That was it. All right, fair enough. Why not? Um, well, while Sam is in the humidor. Shall we discuss the cigar news? What little there is to discuss. Um, how about the... The Cigar of the Week. Yeah. We have not even got there yet. All right, fair enough. Let's go. It's by Sam. It's time for the Cigar of the Week, brought to you by Just the Tip Cigars. Are you looking for the best selection of boutique cigars? Do you want the tried and true legacy brands that are synonymous with the cigar lifestyle? Do you want luxurious cutters, lighters, and other accessories? Do you want to relax in the most comfortable cigar lounge in the Berg? Then you want Just the Tip Cigars. Conveniently located in the Bavarian Village Shopping Center in South Park, Pennsylvania, Just the Tip Cigars has been tailor-built to your smoking needs. Whether you visit in person or on the web at justthetipcigars.com, when it comes to cigars, Just the Tip is the whole package. Speaking of the whole package, Sam's not here, so you're just going to have to have me i guess today we are smoking something that uh made jason ask some questions he had to uh, inquire as to the monetary value of said cigar i believe he's enjoying it is mm-hmm. that accurate oh yeah it's i know a, that i am it's a fantastic cigar man this is uh definitely one of our more esteemed guests though our poorest quality show one steve Saka, uh dunbarton tobacco and trust the Micarita Tricky Traca Toro. I did not change the size from last week, so this is not a four and a half by 42. It's probably a six by 54. Uh, it is a Toro, and it has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, binder from Nicaragua, and Dominican Nic- and Nicaraguan fillers. I don't know why I moved my head. You're supposed to, you're supposed to like try to move to fucking catch it. I mean, I would have fell out of my chair. So obviously, guys, I did try to clue you in the audio listeners. The uh, the rings are flying at this point. That one's probably going to get popped when those guys come out of the humidor. <laughs> There's nothing I could do about I it because I'm the it. only guy on the camera right now, unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what else I could do. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, oh, oh, really? You just had to you had to know what it felt like, didn't you? You just want Sam to be jealous when he comes out. <laughs> I I can encourage a little bit of cheating. I'm all right with it. We still got some more tequila. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little. Ooh. Ooh. You, you don't have a little more tequila. You have a lot more tequila. Well, I'm in that pour. There's, there's quite a bit to get through. Yo, there. how about the damage I did on the bar tab at that white elephant party? Oh, I wouldn't be proud of that. Why? Because... Did anybody complain? Uh, nobody that I... I mean, why would I have heard a complaint? I don't know. You're saying that you wouldn't be proud of it. I just... I, I, I have a different... I have a different outlook on that than you do completely. I mean, particularly now, with the acquisition, they've got the money. You know? It's not, it's not about having the money. Well, you think I took advantage? It... it so... I shared. Think of it. Think of it like this. Okay, let's go. We are. We are. We are the people that are responsible for the financial, the the financial responsibility, and the uh, success of our departments. Correct. A lot. Not really, but okay. But some of the projects we have to work on, uh, cost savings projects, shit like that. Blah 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 blah. 
blah, blah. So it, I, I personally think that it, it is, it shows poor taste doing, right. getting something that expensive. Sam Jason says I, I have poor taste. I, I'm not. That's that's inarguable, actually. Um, but like, I don't know, man. Like those those situations are supposed to be like for us. And if you think sure. about it, consider my total tab that I could have possibly contributed, mm -hmm. and what percentage of one coil that we produce that may represent. Sure, but think about it like this: oh, your percentage of that tab yes was a hundred percent not a hundred percent your percentage of that tab was bigger than anyone else's depends on how much people ate really what do you mean depends on how much people ate because there was food on that tab as well but the food the food was provided for everyone people didn't people weren't like oh i want a sandwich well, i mean you could be like hey i want to well, I, I'm I'm kind of surprised I'm getting like high roaded by by Jason under the circumstances. I was like passing him out, you know what I mean? Like I was trying to get other people on board, and yeah, I I, I probably indulged a little bit. I'm 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 feeling a lot of shame right now. I got to be honest with you. I can't believe I'm being I'm being. Uh, <laughs> it's only because you've been the guy paying the check. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And but he, but here's the thing: if you want to put it that way. If I was the guy paying the check and I looked at an itemized receipt, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's fine. I got no problem. Listen, again, man, like, you want to talk about percentages of the check. So that's 25% of a grand. I was maybe good for like 10 or 15% of that check. Probably if you're less. saying that, if you're saying no, that, actually less, way less than that. Hold on, hold on, bud. Uh, five five percent of the check. What are you saying? What are you saying? The check cost? If the check was a thousand dollars. Oh, the last I heard, the tab was that like because somebody asked. Uh -huh. I did not ask. Somebody asked. When I had my last beverage, it was like fourteen, fifteen hundred. Okay, so so let's do a little math here. I know uh, what you had. Yeah. And it was what? The, the $1,400, total yeah. Well, no, at that point in time. But I left. Let's say, let's say it was $1,400. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why I let us down this road. This is, this, why, why do the kids care at home? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it, which is all the more reason, it, Sam says, he, he sounds, it sounds like I don't like what we're talking 17%. about. 17%. Or, yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm okay with it, man. Out of <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, come on, man. You know, like, to be... F <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to spoil the goddamn mood here. Yeah, I know. No, man, like, uh, I don't know. I do feel like... Believe it or not, whether you would look at me on this show, mm -hmm. because I actually contribute more to the show behind the scenes and all the and the effort. I contribute a lot. Sure, I yeah. am obviously the fucking joke. I've got inflatable fucking horns on my head, <laughs> and that's my sacrifice, man. I'm the joke of the show, but I, I do try hard at work. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I care more than most do. Sure. In, in terms of percentage of the employees at that facility. So, I mean, like, all right, you know, fucking if I'm going to, uh, you know, get, I, I think uh, a, a few shots of an expensive tequila is a very small price to pay for that. You know what I right. mean? That's yeah. all. And not only that, but every other event that we've ever gone to, there was nothing good on the menu. Okay. So, like. M my contribution to the, to the tab was always very, very small. Sure. Because there was nothing that interested me. Right. You know what I mean? So that time it was like, hey, man, there's something good. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to partake, you know, like I'm going to get my piece of this because it's my, is that not the, uh, the, the point of the open bar at a company event 
is to like let you feel like you can you can ride at a little higher level than you normally would why are you shaking i hope you've got the camera on you i don't you don't you have I the don't. camera on yourself no shaking i have it on you head it at me for like the last 15 20 seconds fuck you jason you know? <laughs> that's all i gotta say that that encapsulates my feeling of the show for for somebody that was driving here only hoping for jason's presence in whatever capacity that may deliver no, you got to means you're losing yeah fuck you dog <laughs> the self-sacrifice man i'm wearing fucking so did we do what, what are we smoking did yes, we, we yes did. okay yes, we did yes, do that yes. mm -hmm. Good. and what are your thoughts thus far dude i fucking love this cigar mm -hmm. my thoughts are my actually, mood's way down actually what i yeah i get your your little antlers dripping yeah, over the side you're i like, feel oh. droopy man i feel droopy don't feel droopy. I told you. I I'm not droopy. I feel judged. Not not shaming you. Ah, why do I cigar? Shame. Not... Yeah. If you wanna if you wanna feel shame, look at somebody who's actually gotten a ring on the antlers. Did you put it on yourself? I did not. I got I got one on his fucking little fried egg of a dome up there. Ah man. Man, even when we're trying to shame Sam. Wow, from two feet away. Well, you know what? Mixed. I got Rudolph over here dodging it. Why? Even dodging when I'm bastard. trying to shift the shame to Sam, it still comes right. <laughs> it comes right back. <laughs> this, this, yeah, yeah, I likes it. Hey, I bet you do. You know what the red rings make me think of the ones for like you know the post proctologist ring that it's that's no, just sit on you know like sit. You know, oh, this whole you, thing was my idea. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you expect it to go? I don't know. Right. But but if we if we're talking about episode ninety eight, me wearing an inflatable uh antler appendage for the amusement of everybody else, I don't know if this is quite it. I feel like you just wanted everybody to know you're a horny little bastard. That's well, probably it. The person that needs to know knows. All right, ten That's all I got. Well, well stated. Indeed. Yeah, well you stated. know what? You know, that was, that well, was great. Well stated. <laughs> that response, spot on. So you were about to tell me your thoughts on this guy. Respect. And uh, that's the end of the horns. I'm done. I, I like it a lot. Um, it's I was droopy. It's got mm. it's it's right right in my my flavor profile. It's it's medium strong. You know, it's it smokes really well. It's not tight. It's got a good draw nah. on it. Jeez. It's um. No, please continue. Then I have something for you. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so my I was at the in laws last night for Christmas Eve dinner, and my wife's uncle purchased for me a cigar because he was like, "Yeah, man, this it was it was very appreciated." This guy sure. is a cigar smoker. I'm gonna go to the closest local shop. He went to the Bonacontros over at Smoke. Great oh. people. So my Christmas present mm -hmm. from him made me think of you. Did it? What cigar did he buy me? The Camacho. The triple Maduro. Camacho yeah. Triple Maduro. Yeah, it was a six by sixty. A little bigger than I would have liked, but still enjoyed it. So I smoked it last night thinking about you the entire time. You know what? That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. Yay. I was like, Jason's yeah, man. always in our hearts. And I minds. had to tell him, I was like, I love this cigar, um, and uh, there was a point in time when it was my favorite cigar. I just want to clarify, Santa Claus actually, is stripping right now. Really, if you want to blame a cigar for the invention of this show, it was because the first time I purchased a cigar for Jason, it was that cigar, was mm, it not? It surely was. Yeah, and I, that was what like kind of lit the fire for the idea in, of cigar. You know what? I still have the oh. band from that cigar. Hell yeah. I that do. first one? I still have that the band so from that cigar. That is so fucking cool, dude. I like to feel something for that. Yeah, I still that have the band cool. from that cigar. All the right. feels is reels right yeah. now. I'm, I'm like, for a guy that was wearing like an inflatable fucking reindeer rack for the first step of this set of the show, I feel like I somehow got my dignity back. Like, there, there's some functional... Okay. Spreading of the love of tobacco and cigars <laughs> at the, yeah. the root cause of what the idea for this show was, even if I've just become the the bald joke. No, you're not the bald joke window. as often as the short joke. Well, that's fair. 
Wow, he's fucking stripping over there. I that's why I you, said we got Santa stripping. What, look, why is, is that a good belt in you? the middle now? Is what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I know Santa's secret identity. <laughs> I'm I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. His he's his wins, and I'm warm. My dude was in. Read his Christmas sweater though. Oh, right. uh, you got a hey, Curcio. Drop it. Well, I want to see your sweater. He needs to read your your boobies. Put your <laughs> nuts in my mouth. <laughs> it's it's a reference to the Nutcracker. It's a little wooden sure, doll. Just why in not? case anybody's wondering, that was not an open harmless is invitation. What it is. That just occurred. I have. I just, I'm just wearing Deadpool. Merry Christmas, Doug. Come on, Doug. Paul. <laughs> Mister Paul. <sighs> yeah, I digs it. So, what are your thoughts on this guy? Well, I've sacrificed my Sunday mornings and my dignity. And uh, most anything else there is for friendship, but this is worth it. It's a good cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's moments like this that just make it all worth it. I mean, more than anything, it's really the tequila. I assume he's coming back because he left his uh, phone on the back. That's of actually why the last thing he said couch. before he left was, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. So, I mean, but, you're a little closer. Yeah, that's true. I mean, so. Santa's got to unwind too, you know. Yeah, let him for do. any of them kids that watch at home, which they shouldn't, because every week when I upload it, it says, "Is it made for kids?" And I say no. No. I'm no, like, yeah, sure I'm isn't. gonna hedge my bets and say no on that one. Um, give me a clock. Forty-one. Yeah, let's do the cigar news, huh? Let's do it, shall we? It's time for the cigar news, brought to you by Tom's Penworks. As a cigar smoker, you appreciate luxury. And as a premium cigar smoker, you appreciate handmade craftsmanship. And as a customer of Tom's Penworks, you'll appreciate the selection of custom-made, limited production items that you can show off to your friends. From handmade pens, pencils, bottle openers, cigar cases, and now custom rings, Tom will create something special for you or your loved one. Find them on the web at etsy.com slash shop slash Tom's Penworks. And as always, you can find the link in the description for this episode. Oh. If you're wondering why. You'll see in a minute. Well, will we? Will they? Yeah, they, they have to. Can I just it's, reiterate gotta that catch. this is a show that should be watched, yeah. not heard. This episode, <laughs> Sam says you have to come back over here again. <laughs> What's in the paper bags? What's in the box? What's in the book? These are two sacks. For his <laughs> They're sacks for his children. <laughs> wow, we That's both up. went there, huh? That is the kind. Come over here, please. Come over. Come over. That is the kind of thing you would expect from the Grinch, not uh, your not from one, one. Sant- Santity Claus. Here's the best part about it. Can I you stepped you in into the breakfast? shot. You stepped into the shot, and you're standing there. And the only thing you can see. And we've never seen the hat the entire time. <laughs> That's a nice Fu Manchu. Ah, there it is. lower, lower, lower. No, bad, bad Corey, bad Corey. <laughs> <This is laughs> Woo! I don't. Oh yeah, I don't know. That's right. Fratello Cigars has announced the Fratello Harmony, a collaboration being. That wasn't me. It's a Ford. Uh, collaboration being done be- with the Dominican chocolatier, Cow Cow. Is that how you pronounce that, Jason? Cacao. Cacao. Where the fuck you at? Cacao. You hear pictures <laughs> on your mouth now. Shut the fuck up. Plug them with them social skills to keep my total bills sold. As a set, the Fratello Harmony features the four cigars from the, four, the Fratello DMV line. I don't know what this has to do with... The driver's license center, DC, Maryland, Virginia, and Delaware, a 5x50 Robusto format. There are also four chocolates from Cacao included in the Fratello Harmony. The idea is there are four distinct pairings between the cigars and chocolate. Production for the Fratello DMV comes from the La Aurora factory in the Dominican Republic, a total of 500 units. That's right, Sam, I said units of the Fratello Harmony were produced and the other of the two items is quality importers trading company is shipping two new humidor supreme electric humidors designed with the consumer in mind the two humidors shipping electronic humidors were launched at the 2023 pca trade show 
uh, and include a digital control panel and easy access large water reservoir designed to easily maintain the temperatures and humidity levels. That's all I have to say about that, really. It's not actually that interesting. The news was just terrible, Jason. You know what I mean? You looking up some shit? Go ahead. We'll I'm looking up the uh, quality importers, human or supreme. Well, look at you paying attention and being intrigued. That's what you should be doing. If you are ever interested in where I get the cigar news from, it's usually a copy and paste from Cigar Coop. So among the people I'm grateful for this holiday season, shout out to Cigar Coop for doing the work for me. Although copying and pasting is harder than you might think. <laughs> yeah, it's a box. It's a dick in a box. My dick in a box? How's that go? Step one. Yeah, I'm by myself. We need a little adjustment. We need a we need lot of adjustment, actually. In. Yeah. I'm going to blame Santa. My question is, is Sam done selling cigars, and is he coming back to the show? Find out more at 1130 when we do the things. Don't you worry about that, ho. I see you You chose the V-neck. Uh, I chose the one in the front of the closet. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, whichever one is when it'll get washed and just kind of yeah. rotate. My, You've my... got a, f a lot fewer in your closet than I do in my drawer. Really? There's essentially an entire pile dedicated to cigar junkies <laughs> where I've actually gotten rid of quite a few T-shirts recently. Just because there was, so my wife has the closet. We have a really shitty closet, just the shittiest of all possible closets. It is like 18 inches deep and seven feet long or something like that. Like, see, so I'm serious. You open Oh, it's up, like one of those, that's the whole fucking wall. No, you open the door and it's like, so you know, my, my house has the little front entryway protrusion mm -hmm. that comes out to the deck mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on one side you have the closet that has our coats in it and shit mm -hmm. on the other side that is our bedroom closet and it is stupid ah. fucking narrow incredibly narrow but also stupid long nice. so like the width of the door it goes back another like width and a half so like climbing back there is a treacherous assignment it's oh. not great huh? you have to be wearing a headlamp you oh, take you water and rations with you if you want to make it back. Is this wide? Oh, this wide. no, but what it's not like a sliding door closet. No, that motherfucker's open, like, you open like, door. like goddamn Narnia. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Except for way shallower than you thought Narnia, Narnia was going to be. Because it's like our whole closet is the width of a hanger mm -hmm. and it goes far back. So, like, all my shit was always at the very back end. And like I said, I needed like a mining helmet, a rescue line, like emergency rations, your your a uh, GPS locator, your your entry man, <sighs> a, a confined, confined space per confined space permit. Yeah, very much so. Lockout tag. So out. like at some point, my I have like a my dresser is sort of like a wardrobe. I have a tall stack of drawers and a door on the right. And for a while, there was three shelves, but you could remove the shelves, and there was, like, a, a hanger post in there. Yes. So I was like, ah, fuck it. The few things that I do wear from there, I'm going to pull out. It was actually when I started it at the company that I currently work for. I almost said it. Um, the idea was, like, I'm wearing a lot of flannels and shit now. I'm just going to put them on hangers. Um, so I have no idea where this conversation no, started at. None. Zero percent. Oh, so we're talking about the shirts. So because of that movement in my wardrobe, I had to, like, eliminate some things. Yeah. Like T-shirts that I don't wear. Had Family to trim guy, back a Star bit. Wars shirts. Fucking 15 Penguin shirts. Probably five Family Guy Star Wars Christmas shirts or whatever. <laughs> you know. And so, but there is a, a whole stack in the drawer of t-shirts that it's just cigar junkie nice. shit because i decided at some point if i'm gonna wear somebody's brand on me while i walk around it may as well be as my own that's uh that's a fair assessment i think that makes sense that's my christmas present from sam validation pretty much yeah 
I'll send my cigars hey, out, so I have to want to pitch in on a Jelly of the Month club for him. <laughs> jelly of the Month? <laughs> I like jelly. <laughs> I enjoy some jelly. We're the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. Oh, speaking of the nut house, there's only oh, one Lydia. jelly Eric knows. It has an issue. Where's the Tylenol? It's like the, that's the greatest rant ever. Like Christmas vacation, he gets the jelly of the month club instead of a bonus. Oh, do you have you ever seen the behind the scenes of that? No, the the like greatest rant of sc screen time in history. He, what the fuck? What just happened? No, you do your thing. You go no, ahead. You do you, boo. Sorry, I, you go I, ahead I, and I, watch whatever you're watching. I'm interested now. Yeah, now now you we're sure intrigued, that Jason. We're all kind of. Yeah. <laughs> no, so behind the scenes on that, that was such a long rant that there had to be cue cards. They taped to all of the other people in that scene's chest. So if you watch him during you the Christmas vacation, dickless, no yes, good. He he has to go from actor to actor to look at what part of the rant <laughs> he's supposed to be on. They have cue cards taped to their chests. That's funny. So that he could get the whole thing out. A sack of monkey I had shit. He really information. is. Hallelujah. Another Christmas Where's the miracle. Tylenol? Hell yeah. Did, now, do you guys know that when the police bust in, right, and they're all, like, standing there frozen? Like, normally or in that movie? In the movie. Okay. When they're all standing there frozen, his wife's hand is on his crotch. Fuck yeah. Really? Yeah. In times of need, grab these nuts indeed. indeed. Let, me, let me see if I can get a picture of it while what? you guys bullshit. Hey, did it. Hmm. Man, Seneca, what what's the deal, man? You judging me for the my amount of tequila intake? He's had so many tequilas that he only understands Spanish. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate Filling you. Filling in yeah, for the yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, dude. High five on paying attention <laughs> earlier in the show and shit. But come on, man, it's fucking Christmas time, and I'm on vacation, so fuck you. And your rural sen. There's no one. Really is is like holding it. There's no worm. Fuck yeah, bro. He's Good getting some him. there. Good for That's you, his Christmas, Christmas present. Apparently, sure. he's like horrible to work with. Like, oh my god, yeah. Actor's name because I can't think. Chevy, Chevy Chase. Chase. Chevy, bro. One of the worst actors in Hollywood that I've heard of in terms of like working with that dude. Prima Donna, all that. Yeah, I hear. I hear bro. he's pretty bad. I hear. I hear Bill Murray's pretty bad. <gasps> See, I heard oh, Bill, yeah. Bill Murray's just unpredictable. He's not. Like he's like aggressive. He's not a diva, but he's a dickhead. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's it's. Bill what Murray, are so things I can't Murray. say about Jason? What? I'm not a diva, but I'm a dickhead. Yeah, I can't say that about you. Yes, you can. No, you're a little bit of a diva. You do have a bit of diva too. Yeah. But I'm also a giant okay. dickhead. Like right? I, I didn't I, say like I couldn't I, say the latter. I'm I keep just Snickers saying, here like, just for you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I couldn't choose. You know what I mean? Equal parts. Would you like to bake some Santa Jasons for Christmas this year? But here's it's the equal thing. parts diva and dickhead. I know who I am. <laughs> well, apparently not. I know my reality. Don't question my reality. If you watch this episode on YouTube, I would be very interested in the count on how many times you've raised that mug to your mouth oh. and not taken a drink. It's honestly that's I at this point that's, I just. Is that why that big, could, that arm is so much bigger? I could that's hundred <laughs> percent. I could hundred percent program a button on this on this stream deck. Let's go. That would put a count next to Sam, and every time I see him pick his cup mug up yeah. without taking a drink, I just hit the button. You know, what if I just hold the entire time? Problem with that? What's that? That would require work beyond the ninety minutes a week. No, he could do it during the show. I don't think he could. I could program that after the show while I'm sitting here I'm waiting saying, for the. I don't think you will. Anybody? Anybody got money? I got money. I don't got money. Yeah, well, now I'm not taking show. the bet. No, I, you're I don't like, have any money, but I have money to, on that. He's trying to. Go button, he's trying to button hook me. I didn't. He's you know, button trying to button, 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 button hook me. <laughs> Such. A, why did so? I don't. Which one of you is gonna like know who Sabalba is whenever I reference him? I do. No, if he was somebody in Star, he's the Wars, one that owns Anakin. That's uh, okay. 
<laughs> so you're actually you you actually got to where I was going, even though I said it wrong. What I miss here? Sabalba is the rival pod racer, but who yeah, I yeah, met yeah. was Wado. So you nailed it because oh, yeah. you are fucking Wado. If you were a Star Wars character, <laughs> I think he even wears the hat. He even wears that hat. I, I think In he does. And two, maybe. Like this. Like when he goes back and he's like, oh, I sold your mother. I sold your mother. <laughs> Come wow, on, Eddie. Build me some that is, vibrators. That is such... That character is such like a an ethnic caricature. Oh, it's Why? you, buddy. Why is it? <laughs> it is you. I you don't understand. Water. That is hundred <laughs> percent. Hey, it's Sam. Uh, <laughs> so oh, I tell shit. him, I like your Deadpool sweater. <laughs> He wears that hat though in episode two. He really does. Do believe you're right on that. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm Looks looking exactly it up. Exactly like him. Gonzo nose and everything. <laughs> I do have a giant <laughs> fucking nose. <laughs> Yo, oh. if anybody, Eric, this is for you. Wants to buy me one of those stripper G strings that you ha that I would have to stuff to wear. Gonzo nose. <laughs> The Gonzo face fucking, with the big curly fucking nose. Fucking close. If I was ever going to wear one of those G-strings oh. for, like, the strippers that's like an elephant, no, I want Gonzo. Oh. Give it to me. That's part Is that not Jason? How it's close. Look at it. It's close. The nose even goes down Jesus past Christ. his lips. It's like fucking, it's like a mirror image. You should have put it that is. up on the computer. I did. Of course. Oh, yeah, I he, fucking absolutely did. They're, they're, sorry, the other hosts of the show are talking. Three days for delivery. Okay, deal. So December, right. bro, it better be a fucking hummingbird instead. <laughs> <gasps> Next time I'm having I'm having intimate time with my wife. I'm just gonna go in her ears. Actually, it's more mosquito, but still appropriate. <sighs> hey, honey, how about it's a hummer? <laughs> it's engorged with blood. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the rest of those sound effects. Anyway, I what do you got? I'm nothing after Can that. Help, I help. Just, no. I can't do it by no, myself. No, it's more fun man. this way. It's just I know, watching you like, just you flounder. Just, you yeah. Get up and, Dude, that's a fantastic. good Disney movie. Little Mermaid. No. She could get it. I want to be part of the <laughs> Even the priest thought so, thought so on the ship at the end. <laughs> it's like, what's up, bro? It's like, hey. You don't remember that part? All I can think of is the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. Le bon but it le wouldn't bon be sang. there oh, if bon that bitch were to shave. No? no. Events? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just go. Uh, Saturday, December 29th, the Dirty Dog Cigar Shop in McKeesport. Join us as we kick back and enjoy the spoils of the season. Head down to the Dirty Dog as we enjoy the festivities of the year and the festivities of the year with the bang. Ryan from Forge will be here to make sure everyone's stockings are topped off with some of the best deals from Partigas. Who else does Forge have? Uh, room 101. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they have one good brand. No, they have. Well, they got Alec Bradley, Room 101, Partagas. There's another good one. I don't remember who. So they have one good brand. Sunday, December 31st. Thank you for this editorial, by the way. Mm. The amount of time that I spent last night deleting the fucking emojis from your <sighs> post was more than I put into the whole rest of the fucking show notes. It makes me so happy because I don't Holy I don't spend any time writing it. Shit. I just go, hey, here's what it's got to say. Oh. Uh, and I'm done. Chill the fuck <laughs> out with the emojis. No, Dove. it's more fun. What it's more the fun. fuck? I'm like, listen, man, I'm trying. I The black and white, I have those. I have black on my plin printer. Hi, Jeff Scales. Plinter. Plinter. My plinter. Plinter. It's like the cyan and the magenta and shit. Those are always empty. Okay. So, like, the emojis have color. That's no bueno, man. I'm fine with it. I'm going to start fucking... I'm going to start charging you for my ink, is all I'm going to say. Sunday, so December the 31st at Just the Tip Cigar. Step back in time this New Year's Eve and ring in 2024 with a touch of 1920s glamour at 
Just a Tip Cigars. Where? Bavarian Village Shopping Center in South Park, Pennsylvania. I hear it's lovely. You've heard wrong. Mm. Sorry. Prepare for an evening filled with mystery, elegance, and the finest cigars. Where's the elegance? She'll be here that night. Okay, cool. It's Brittany. If any of you were wondering, I was, and now I know. Uh, Shit, I'm not going to be able to go behind the counter. What's waiting for you? Exclusive countdown to the new year. Light appetizers. (coughs) Hot dogs. Uh, No, I told you she'll be here. She'll make something. (laughs) She'll make something else. I appreciate that. Uh, now I'm still trying to find my my way back. Okay, uh, savor a selection of gourmet bites, perfect for pairing with your cigar. I'll I'll get here at seven thirty, eight o'clock, something like that. Uh, exclusive cigar deals unwrap the best deals of the year on premium cigar selection. You heard it. So the best prices of the year mm-hmm. of 2023. Mm-hmm. So like everything's on sale. They're great prices every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good for you. Good for you. A fist bump for the audio listeners at home. So actually, that's Sam. the first time I heard about those deals that we're going to be running. So I need to talk to my wife and go, what are we doing? I have no idea. When you say your wife, you mean Mike Duff? No, this one. No, she's. This is her. She wrote this. She, well, I don't know. Shit. I have no idea. She's on the. She's on the hook. That's what it sounds like. Win big. With our exciting raffle draws throughout the night. 50-50 draws. This is the first you're hearing of it? You know mm-hmm. about it? Okay, cool. Try your luck and maybe start the new year with a win. Sorry, I had to... The, the lines. You ever try to track the lines? It's hard. You mean reading? Like yes. Left to right, up and down? Yeah. You know what? This is your fucking event. You finish it off. Fuck you. I, I got know, too I much tequila for this shit. Where we at? Uh, Neither do <laughs> I right at the champagne toast. Champagne toast. Raise a glass of bubbly as we count down to the new year. Light appetizers. Savor selection of gourmet bites. Perfect for pairing with your cigar. Raffles and prizes. Win big with our exciting raffle draws throughout the night. 50-50 draw. Try your luck. Maybe start the new year with a celebration. Dress code. 1920s entire is encouraged. Embrace your inner flapper or dapper gent and immerse yourself. Jesus Christ. What is this? Damn, this is Embrace your inner flapper or dapper. Jim, and immerse yourself in the speakeasy spirit. Join us for a night of revelry and old school charm. Let's bid farewell to 2023 and welcome 2024 with style, surrounded by friends, fine cigars, and unforgettable moments. That's what facial hair feels like, by the way, when I tried to cock your head into the microphone. It worked for a little bit. Yeah. I I don't know, Mm. because I still can't. Just grows in all naturally white trash like this. Yeah, there's hair (sighs) popping up everywhere except for the places that I'd like it to. Listen, I've given up on the top. I don't. I get it. This is not. You've accepted back. defeat, yeah. Very much so. But like, can I if I could trade this for that, I would. Well, yeah. maybe not from from this point. If you I could trade know. what? Facial hairs. You can't grow the rest oh. of the beard. No, your, your goatee comes in just fine. The yeah. goatee is very good. Yes. Like you, you're not like me. I have a bald spot right here. He's Joe Dierte. I've got yes. Oh yes, I have. The most natural white trash mutton chops you'll ever see in your life. My beard grows in like this. Nice. Watch yes. YouTube. You'll know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, no, it's it's rough. Just I, think, Joe Dirt. It's, Dirk, it's getting better. I'm just hoping by sixty. I you ain't got no like whisker biscuits. Hi, Heather. Merry Christmas to you and yours as well. She's been here for a little bit. Uh, hi, Heather. Merry Christmas. And thank you. I like my hat. Sam's too. a ho. He's a ho. So, um, he's a ho. Sunday, Why January 6th, the Main Street Tavern in Munhall hey. is the Strum Junkies. I kind of like this. Round Robin? Keep going. That was it. That's, that's all, all that's, that's all you here. have. Oh. You're supposed to ad lib the rest. He did. So make up. No, no, no. Like some. So, so oh, you get to make up whatever you want. He said. Come. No, no, no. Say some stuff to encourage the kids to come to the thing. <gasps> I think for the Strum Junkies event, he should wear the hood we were talking about. Is it about just earlier. you? No. No, it's the Strum Nick's Junkies there too. Okay, I didn't know. You Louis? said it was a small venue. Yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, like Fat Gandalf ain't gonna be there. Oh shit. Yeah, we're not is allowed that, to do that. Yeah, we're not allowed to do that anymore. 2023. He asked us to stop. Regular Gandalf is not going to be there. Oh, he asked us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
Sam. <laughs> so come watch Corey. YouTube.com <laughs> slash and whatever. How do you get to our The thing? other guy's name who I can't remember. <laughs> He's Jason. Lou, Louie and Nick. Louie. Yeah, Louie. Um, it's Gandalf. No, the guy that plays the guitar with you, Nick. Oh, Nick's Nick. Nick, here. okay. Come watch Corey and Nick play everyone's favorite classic rock and acoustic songs. In the worst way possible. At uh, the Main Street Tavern in Munhall. As they pluck the guitar and your heart you know strings. What's on January 6th. Is actually, he doesn't have a time, but it's it's from nine to midnight. From nine to midnight, you know what? And I'll tell you, as as somebody who has watched Corey play, he does uh -oh. a decent job. That's so as it's, good as I it's can entertaining. Ask. Yeah, nice. I actually feel <laughs> just does a really good Christ, job, bro. What? Can I <laughs> can I ask you? Does the imagery of Sam flipping his Santa hat from side to side <laughs> invoke it all? The movie Legally Blonde to you? <laughs> no. No? No, that not going to It's reason. just funny. It's, yeah. I've been doing it it's the adorable. entire time. Wait, what was that? What was that thing they did in, in the, the bend and pop? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, like I went from Legally Blonde over to uh, I Bring It On. I suspect. Like, if I, if I could ask anything of the Cigar Junkies audience in the Pittsburgh area and, and uh, abroad, if you happen to feel like purchasing a, a plane ticket, this place we're playing is very small. It is super small. Just with the people that I assume will come, like our coworker and some other folks that are big and G and D and, and some other kids, this place is going to be past capacity, super easy. It is small, but I want it anyway. I'd, I'd love to see just that place crammed with people because this will actually be the first time that I get paid for performing. Whoa. I've done the leaning house twice and there were tips involved, but I played for free. So this would be like 2024 is going to be the year where I'll be able to say that I'm a prof professional musician. I have, I played for, I played a band for 10 years, never got paid well, for a gig. Never, never. They did it for the love of the music, man. So I'm gonna, so so in January sixth, <coughs> Saturday, January the sixth, at the Main Street Tavern in Munhall, I will surpass Jason. Yeah. All right. Because I'll get it. paid. I don't know if I'll deserve payment. January sixth, the paid. date of Corey's ascension. Yep. Never never got paid for a gig. Can can you do the event from now on and just call it that? That's all I want. Corey's to ascension. We'll only get one more before the show. One or two. One more. Oh yeah, because it's the Saturday before. Yeah, yeah. It is. Also, I would like to point out a flaw in Corey's math logic. Yeah. New Year's Eve will not be episode one hundred. Nope. We established that last week. Did we talk about we it? We did. And well, although your wife Jason just called you out, she said you got idea. paid for that one place in Roscoe. Jason was like, "Why don't we just do a show on like Thursday, Roscoe, Roscoe and then Roscoe, it'll Roscoe. still be episode one?" Was that no, no, we no, we did not get paid for that show. We got free beer all night, but we did not get that's, paid for that that's show. That's payment. Is it for how much did you drink? Since a lot. Yeah, you got paid. No, you got paid. A lot. You got paid, buddy. Just like I got paid at the uh, White Elephant party. Oh. And I got a handy dandy, bro. Notebook. <laughs> got a handy dandy notebook. I do have a handy dandy notebook. I took that bottle home. I know you did. Yes, but it is displayed. So I did display it too. My wife was like, "Where are you gonna put it?" And I was like, I, "I'm thinking of mounting it on the wall until I get a deer." She's like, "So that thing's gonna be on the wall forever, <laughs> huh?" Shannon with the jokes. Hell yeah. I think we put I, a suction cup on it, and that can be his dildo coin. I figured out that it's day, got a bell on it. Oh yeah, it's, it does. But you have to have it like a quarter turn loose for it to function properly. I didn't bing, think bing. it screwed on. I thought it was a cork. It is. I don't know. All right, we're thinking about this too much. Let's roll. Jeff said, "Where'd you play in Roscoe?" Sam says, "A little silence on the show is not a bad thing." Uh, Jeff, that was a point in time in my life where uh, most of it which, was an alcoholic which blur. Jeff was so that? I have no fucking clue where I played in Roscoe. Jen, where did he play in Roscoe? Jen, where which, did I play which in Roscoe? Jeff, are we talking to? Good looking, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. I was confused. Yeah. Confuzzled. Because Jeff Poole was, I thought, was going to be here. No, he said at the beginning of the show he woke up late and That's got okay. shit to do. 
As already however, really, however, that Roscoe I was gonna show that was, was one of the best shows we've ever time. done. It was that was such a fun night. Wait, which one? The one in Roscoe. You don't know? Oh, I thought he was talking about the cigar junkie show. No, the, there's a whole conversation going on. Okay. I'm trying to read the comments. As much attention as long I ago. Could. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. It was a minute or two, eh? I was like, okay. I'll inhale peanut butter before every show. I El Jefe. Sorry. El jefe. Chris Gales goes, El Jefe. Like, ha ha. Damn. That one. Damn. Yeah. So the parking lot. Yeah. I, I remember that. I also I also I remember packing up my well. mom's van with all of our band equipment because I I used to borrow my mom's mini minivan when we would go play shows. I, I went straight to Chris Farley <laughs> down by the river <laughs> and a van down by the river. That's where they park after the show. <laughs> Tim's. 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 Tim's apparently it was apparently it was Tim's cafe. <laughs> He's like there's only, <laughs> there's only two bars in Roscoe. The Grinch just grew three and a half times his normal size. Yeah. Oh, oh, so you remember um, during the events, I was like, like I had an epiphany. Yeah. You know what I would really like to do? I don't want to know. You ever see? You know, this is recorded, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen like those uh, murder mysteries in a box? Yeah. I want to host one. It's my here. murder mystery in a box. You want to what? I want to host one here. No, you can't actually. Kill somebody though, you know that, right? Yes. No, I, the, the look in your eyes doesn't match the words coming out your mouth. Hey, <laughs> hey, kudos to Jason for switching the camera to him. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, it's back to us. It's just a hose. I'm done talking. I think that's my two favorite terrible Christmas sweaters that I've seen so far. Where I'm in it for the hose. With Santa Claus, and then um, it's I'm Saint, shocked. Uh, Santa sitting in the middle, like sitting at the edge of the bed, leaning. See, over. Heather'd be into that. Yeah, pumpkin as spice. Long, I just wanted to make sure you didn't actually want to murder someone. No, no, I want to do one of those. Like, I want to host one of those like murder and, mysteries. Uh, do it. Yeah, I would fucking dude. I a hundred percent. I I could I could pretend to be Tim Curry from Clue. Fuck yes. <laughs> you want me to get you want a toe dude i can get you one by noon with green with green nail polish on it what is that from i do not understand that reference the big lebowski oh god yeah you want a toe dude i can get you a toe we heard you the first time green nail polish heather said she's got a bunch of the murder mystery boxes she's ready fuck yes <gasps> we can open it up on camera and what's in the box beer, rub, 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 rub. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of them. I have I have one at my house that uh, my cousin bought me for my birthday a couple years ago. It's um, stick to my head, and it's it's like uh, the scene is like a cruise ship. There's a murder on a cruise ship, and like the, everybody has like Very their original, yeah. their roles and stuff like that, like the captain and and the like the debutante and the rich guy and shit like that. I dude, I so so want to host a fucking murder mystery. Do it. Let's talk like like. We'd have to figure like for out serious, actually, serious, I've never done one, so we'd have to like discuss logistics. But sounds like fun. Yeah, it would. It's just like a small party. Yeah. Oh, to, oh yeah. yes. So I would. He said, in. "How are we on the toe situation?" Uh, I, I think we're okay. He really wants to. It makes me think of uh, Rocket from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh, and I need that guy's I'm leg. Get that leg. <laughs> What'd you need the leg for? I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Eric collects appendages. <clears throat> Not the best. No, yeah. Never mind. We're just gonna let that go. <laughs> For the visual <sighs> collecting <listeners>. appendages, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just roll past that comment. I think it's probably better. Is it rainbow color? Rainbow toe? Oh, I don't know. What, what color nail assist. polish do you use on your toes? For Sam, they they didn't hear that at home. Oh, uh, leather pride color, leather pride color. Is there is a there thing. a difference between a pride flag and a, a a leather pride flag? Okay, please explain it to me. For the leather uh -huh. pride flag, each color represents something. <laughs> well, they've got black in the leather pride flag. 
black, blue, white, and black, red. Black, blue, white, and red. Which is fair. Cause Cause I was, oh, I, was, I, I was, get it. Ooh. 60%. Yeah. Black, those blue, are white, black. and red. Those are easy. Yeah. That's absolute. They're... Watching everybody else play together. Black, blue, white, and red. The bruise, the cum, the blood. So now, <laughs> now we he know. Said, he said, no. He said, no. <laughs> okay, so that di- gives a different connotation to when Eric says back the blue, yes? Maybe. Ooh. A whole different animal. This is what that is. Uh, moving on. So we got two episodes, which I'm going to have to let Dave Puskovich know because he's planning on coming on. We don't need him on New Year's. We'll take him. But like, yeah. if he wants to be here for number 100, I'm still curious if any of our listeners have like ideas for show 100. Yeah. If you have those ideas, please submit them to the cigar junkies at gmail.com. You can also jump in, message us on Facebook. You could join the Facebook group, the Cigar Junkies podcast, which would be the most appreciated, but not as appreciated if you liked, subscribed, and shared on every platform. Which, I mean, would be easier to do while you're searching for all these other I mean, tasks. if you're like, how am I going to fit down the chimney? How am I going to deliver on the Christmas wishes? You can deliver our Christmas wish. Simply by saving one stray dog. I mean, wait. Mm-hmm. In the <laughs> Everybody at the same time. Angels. Of a junkie. Uh. Save a junkie this Christmas. <laughs> yeah. In the arms you know what's junkie. really sad? Jeff Poole gave us money that we can't get. Oh. You know that? No. We can't collect stars. Why? Because you have to have 500 followers on your page. To, oh, and, and our I think page I suggested a thing. Uh, yeah, our group has like 700 people. So if you're one of the people like watching this bullshit, who was member number 666? I'm just curious. So, so like what Jay's you're saying close. is, I, I hope I was. So, what you're saying, we have two different pages we have the Cigar Junkies group and the Cigar Junkies one, page. One's a page, as exactly. group. Uh, the page is the one man. that we broadcast to. That gets shared to the group. But there is a Cigar Junkies group and a Cigar Junkies page. Uh, so, like, if you're watching this live video right now, it is being broadcasted from the Cigar Junkies Facebook page. And you could click on that that title. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. It is kind of. But we need 500 followers on that page to get, like, the $11 that Jeff gave us. And... F- Trust me, we need that. Money. So, so if you're on the Cigar Junkies page, get over to the Cigar Junkies group. That's like three you're on the group. Or yeah, the backwards. Whatever. Which, whichever is yeah, If which you're on one, millions of Americans. If you're on one, get on both. If you're on one, get on both. Please. That's what she said. No. Moving on. Yeah. So, who's our new members? Who There's do we have? Like two of them. Which is pretty good, considering that our numbers stay the same. But somehow we get new people. So our new spammers of the week are Donny Catherman. That does not sound like a spammer, but who knows? Ah, huh. uh, Jesus Christ. Uh huh. And one Daniel Findley. I do not know who that is. You know who that no, is? Never, never, I have never. No heard clue who it is. Did it really take him this long? Because to, he was to off acquire of social media. No, oh. he was. I I don't know if he was on and then off. He was, and then he, he went yeah, away. From it, yeah, like so. There's a reason that I get a series of low quality videos mm. every night via text message. <laughs> it's because one BGD is not on the Facebooks, but now he is, and now he's following us, and now there's a lot of shirtless cowboys in my newsfeed, which is concerning. Because I thought his fantasy was a two-third scale BGD, but apparently it's a cowboy, so you got to watch out more than I do. And that's all I have to say about it, that. You got anything to say about that? That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> at least his family, or at least his fantasy isn't uh, an Italian guy posing as an Irishman with an English last name. Are we well, talking about you lot. again? That was, that was about you. Lot. Okay, it's always about him. Mm. Mm. Watto? Mm. Come on, I'm a sacrificer, man. Uh, 
Nah. We just. All right. So now that we're down to the last. My horns bitsy. are getting flaccid. Oh, it's 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 starting to punch up. Mm-hmm. It is starting to punch but up. But no, not a peppery cigar at all. It's not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know what I like about this cigar? What do you like about the cigar? Tell Jason? us what you like about the cigar. I can't Jason. taste the glue. The glue. The glue. Right. I can't taste the glue. Well done. Well done. Eric, you okay. want to help him out with that? He can't taste the glutes. <laughs> so what? Uh, what is your thoughts on this uh, cigar? Uh, uh, it's pretty good. Classy. Yeah. Pretty good. Took us to that. How level do you thing. feel about your 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 microphone sock? I'm for him. Oh, I like it. I like you see you see that I I put How it feel so that it's, I'm for that it's in the that. shot. Uh, I like the microphone sonic a lot. Don't you worry about that, Eric. It's sticky for reasons that are applicable and reasonable. Oh. You're, you're gonna make it. My butt hurts. Uh, <laughs> we all saw he was running for the restroom. No. <laughs> makes me On think that, of an, what, Where's the clock? At? Makes me think of another song too. One Turn one. around. One twenty for fuck's sakes. We got oh, ten fuck more sakes. minutes in this garbage. No, we don't. I mean, we don't have to. We, have we, like we more. literally, we we. We're not committed to like the hour and a half thing. We've done three and a half before. We like we'll just take some of that equity. We've done more than that. It just didn't all make it. <laughs> that that kind of reminds me. Yeah. So th- this is episode one hundred coming up. <laughs> it kind of kind of reminds me of that. It's, uh, it's true. The time, uh, one one internet personality who was banned from the internet for a while and came back on was on the Joe Rogan podcast. And he was like, "We're gonna have the longest show ever." <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I was watching the replay because there's a delay on the Facebook Live that we're both watching. You missed it. But there was the moment when the, the PA mixer we both fell, went. and we both just went, what the fuck? And, and then rolled right on. It was fantastic because well, I was cool. waiting for it, and it happened. It was, it was glorious. <laughs> and uh, that's for the audio listener. Good for you. Yeah, can, to paint a picture, they say. Happy uh, trees. Can we bless out? I say I, I think it's about that time. You got anything? Uh, herpes, but other than that, no, I'm good. Oh, you know, Gross. with Valtrex, we can control your monthly inflammation. Wow, that's crazy that you were able to just nine that out. Did, out. He, bro. he was aware. Uh, all right, uh, that's that. That wasn't a whoopee cushion that time. With with the mention of Valtrex, I we think, will. Uh, I think we're good to go. Say your thing. Salut. Hey, it's the thing. Good job. He nailed it.